Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Report, Trump fires off police executive order, now Antifa thugs sprinting for the border. In an age as volatile as ours, any moment can erupt into chaos. Peaceful citizens have to face the injustice of crime, terrorism, and violent activists. Groups like Antifa, backed by liberal billionaires, come out in force to oppose free speech and democracy. The only thing stopping them from turning the U.S. into a war zone are the brave men and women in law enforcement. And good news for them, Trump is letting cops arm themselves properly. From Daily Wire President Obama's ban on state and local police getting better equipment to protect themselves has finally been reversed by the Trump administration by way of executive order, according to an announcement from Attorney General Jeff Sessions on Monday. President Obama's ban on the Pentagon 1033 program were put in place as a response to the alleged controversy in Ferguson, Mo, where an on-duty cop shot and killed Michael Brown, a black teen who attempted to attack the police officer. The controversy stemmed from Brown's friend lying that Brown had his hands up while yelling don't shoot before being killed. A panel of witnesses would later corroborate the cop's testimony of events, verifying Brown's friend as a liar. The political correctness led Obama to block the military transfer of armored vehicles, grenade launchers, armed aircraft, bayonets and guns and ammunition of .50 caliber or higher. On Monday, Sessions said the restrictions were too much. Those restrictions went too far, Sessions said Monday. We will not put superficial concerns above public safety. All you need to do is turn on a TV right now to see that for Houstonians this isn't about appearances, it's about getting the job done and getting everyone to safety. You have to wonder why it seemed Obama hated cops so much. The men and women that keep Americans safe, that kept him safe, were often treated terribly by his administration. Liberals hate law and order, even when they are a part of it. They'd like nothing better than to let criminals run rampant making law-abiding citizens less safe. The spectacle of the Michael Brown incident was something Obama had been waiting for, for a long time. It was his chance at hamstringing cops. The ultimate goal was to eradicate local law enforcement, replacing it with a federally run police force. And then, bye-bye personal liberties. But now we have leaders in D.C. that believe in local law enforcement. They want the men and women who keep us safe to be better equipped to take down criminal scum, terrorist losers, and the rioting cowards who hate our freedoms. If a few better pieces of gear help cops maintain law and order, why deny them? Why prevent good people from stopping crime? That's something liberals do not have an answer to. Answer to.